Hey guys, in this video, I'm going to do a quick demo to walk you through a tutorial of how to use the outline object shader to um, sort of render the object behind other geometries. So you can see here I have this plane. Um, I want this outline for the monkey to show up even in front of. So to do that, we're going to go here. I already added some new layers. So we're going to add the monkey to the outline mask layer. Don't worry, it'll disappear for now. We'll add it back later. And then I'm going to create a duplicate of it, call this one outline, and then I'm going to add this one to outline um, and as for the actual materials for the outline mask one you're going to remove the outline material for the outline one you're going to remove all of it so uh, the next thing that we're going to do is we're going to jump into our main camera and for our culling mask we want to remove the outline mask and outline from the culling mask and now our camera is set up and then what we're going to do is we're going to go to our universal renderer data and we need to add two render objects features so I'll add both of them now and then we'll configure them one at a time. So the override mode needs to be set to off. For the first one, we want to render the outline and um, we do want to depth rate. So we're gonna set that enabled. And then um, we also want the depth, depth testing to be always. So that is the first step. And the second step we do is we need to add a layer mask for the outline mask here and just make sure we disable that and that's it. So now you can see that this outline shader is rendering the outlines even behind this or this specific mesh. Now, if we have another mesh in the scene, like say this torso knot, for example, this one isn't configured in this way. It's just configured by default to material layout. So you can see as we bring this one down below, it is correctly clipped by the surface. Cool. So that's just a quick tutorial on how to use the outline objects to the outline object shader to render outlines behind geometry that would normally include it. And um, if you have any questions, feel free to let the leave them in the comments below. And don't forget to like and subscribe. All right. Thanks for watching.